love Visual Studio Code. It's fast, it's free, it's everywhere. But here's what Microsoft doesn't advertise. Every time you code, they're collecting your data. Today, we're exposing what VS Code sends, why VS Code even fixes it, and why it's not just better, it's necessary in the year of 2025. No setup, guides, no fluff, just the truth. So let's go. And by the way, if you think you will enjoy this video, comment down below VS Codium and make sure you subscribe to my channel and show it some love and support. VS Code's telemetry is opt-out, not opt-in, and it's massive. Microsoft collects file extensions you open, extensions you install and use, errors, crashes, and performance metrics, how long you spend in each file, even the keystrokes you use, over 50 data points per session are sent to vscode.dev, microsoft.com, and third-party analytics. They say it's to improve the product, but your code, your habits, your bugs, that's your property right there. And first, we don't actually know if it's true. Although VS Code is a separate team, you know, they still have links to Microsoft. VS Codeium is VS Code's open source twin. It has the same engine, pretty much the exact same features, same extensions, but with one critical difference. All telemetry is removed at, at compile time. No Microsoft branding, no license checks, no data leaving your machine. It's not a wrapper, it's not a mod. It's a clean community built binary, distributed via GitHub, audited by thousands. Let's talk speed. I tested both on a clean Windows 11 machine, plus 50 extensions. VS Codeium loaded faster compared to VS Code. The RAM used by VS Codeium was even lower, and the CPU spikes during indexing were somewhat identical. But why the edge? No background telemetry processes, no update nags, Codeium is leaner by design. Okay, don't worry about extensions. Please don't be. Open VSX, the community registry, hosts 95% of Microsoft's top extensions. Prettier, yes. Git lens, yes. Live server, yes. Missing one, you can just download it and drag it into it. And for AI, Codium, Tab9, and the Llama work better with Microsoft's gate without Microsoft's gatekeeping. The ecosystem isn't smaller, it's freer. Of course, this isn't for everyone, and to be fair, some people like me are just fine using VS Code. But you should switch. If you work with sensitive code, you're in a regulated industry, you believe your tools shouldn't watch you or monitor you, you want true open source, not a source available. Microsoft telemetry is legal, but that doesn't make it right. VS Codium isn't VS Code Lite, it's VS Code Liberated. Same power, same workflow, zero compromise on privacy. In 2025, using VS Code is a choice, and choosing not to be tracked is easier than ever. Drop a like if you're done being watched, comment VS Codium if you're making the switch, and subscribe because your code deserves better. I'll see you in the editor.